Looking to stake a claim on some security wisdom in a hurry? Well, you're in luck, Keyboard Cowboy. It's time for another Black Hills Information Security Nugget. Find the evil in your logs with Deep Blue CLI. Brought to you by Black Hills Information Security. Now here's John Strand. Hello and welcome. My name is John Strand. And in this video, we're going to talk about Deep Blue CLI, which is like one of the coolest tools that was created um, ever. It's a tool that's created by a very good friend of mine, Eric Conrad, another SANS instructor. Um, this particular tool is really cool from a tactical IR like perspective. So let me give you a use case. So you have an organization or a business unit or a company that you believe to be compromised. Now, whenever you take a lot of forensics classes and IR classes, they talk about the perfect set of data that you can get, like full packet captures, event logs from absolutely everything. It's just, you know, magical unicorns, which never freaking happens ever. A lot of times, whenever you have an incident that you're working, whenever we're working incidents at BHIS, you have to work very, very, very quickly with a very limited amount of information to kind of do that smoke and fire thing to try to figure out where it is you're going to focus. And of course, this is one of those cool things that Eric Zimmerman worked on with CAPE, which is a whole nother series of videos we're going to get into later. But I want to say you have a customer that you think is compromised, you have the contract signed, or you have a business unit that's compromised, you need to get on the plane and start working, ask for their Active Directory logs from that domain, from the time frame where you believe the compromise occurred initially, or even now, just get the domain logs. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk through domain password spray and how you can use it to identify some logs that you need to investigate further. So as always, I'm going through my labs that I have in my pay what you can class. If you like it, check it out. Just Google anti-siphon pay what you can. We have a bunch of great pay what you can options at anti-siphon security training. So quick to the command line, said no one who ever dated in high school. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run deep blue uh, CLI. And I'm going to run it against some logs of an uh, attack that we did for the attack tactics webcast. This is one that uh, Kenton Jordan did a while ago. And they started uh, by doing a domain password spray on post exploitation. What that means is an attacker got access to a system and then pivoted and then tried to authenticate to the other user accounts with the exact same password. And Deep Blue CLI has the capability to detect that, once again, as a great tactical tool. Takes a couple of seconds for it to run, processes it, and it says, woo, we've got a logon failure, a number of 232 accounts from a single account um, for multiple different accounts. So what that means is one system is trying to log on to 232 separate user accounts. Once again, smoke and fire. So Deep Blue CLI identifies this, shows us this. We're doing really, really good. Now we open the EVTX files. We would open the EVTX files in the standard Windows Event Viewer here. I've opened them down in save log. Sometimes whenever you open Event Viewer by double-clicking on the EVTX files, it doesn't open the file right away. You have to go down to save log, select those, and then go on. And I sorted the event ID specifically looking for 4776. The reason why is this is giving me the user that the failed login attempt occurred. And it also gives me the machine name. So you can see that we have authentication for Debbie. We have Jody. We have Corey. We have Sylvia. We have uh, Jackie. All of them are coming from the exact same source workstation. Uh, <laughs> Timmy, we're going to need another Timmy. Um, Roderick, uh, Samantha. So these are all the different failed login attempts from that particular system. And if you look down at the date timestamp, the date timestamp is very, very tight, which is an indication of a password spray. Once again, you can do things with perfect information, but that rarely happens. You need to utilize some really great tactical tools to start investigating quickly to identify and say, hey, WinLab, this system, absolutely needs to be taken offline, needs to be isolated, dump the memory possibly, and start doing full forensics analysis on it. So thank you so much. Once again, if you like this, check out our Pay What You Can training. And don't forget to like and subscribe because that's how I feed my children. And you don't want my children to starve, do you? Um, also, BHIS, we do IR work, we do forensics, and we do network pen testing. We've got both the ends of the spectrum covered in hacking. All right, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. If you stuck around this long, like and subscribe to get more Black Hills InfoSec nuggets. And check out these other videos while you're at it. 
See you on the range, Keyboard Cowboy.